This is going to be a video on multicasting with fog on a laptop server using a local network connection. The first thing to do are download Ubuntu 10.4 ISO image from the internet and then run it to a DVD and create an ISO image. Install Ubuntu to an entire hard disk drive on the laptop. During installation, make sure you document the username, save the password. After you finish the installation, uh, you want to log into your laptop. I named my computer Fog. After you've logged on to your user account, you want to go to Applications, Accessories, and find Terminal. To change your root password, you will type in sudo space passwd space root. Hit Enter and you will type in your password for your user account, F0G. Hit enter, and it'll ask for you for your new Unix password. Type in R00T, hit enter, and then you're going to retype it, R00T, enter. Now you have changed your password for your root account, and you can log out and, cha and change it to your root account. To get into your root account, go into the other and type R-O-O-T and then type R-0-0-T for the password. Now you have administrative privileges. First thing you want to do is you want to go to System, Administration, and find Update Manager. This is going to update Ubuntu for you. Hit install updates in the bottom right hand corner. We are going to do this first so it can install updates while we are doing other things. Next we are going to go to Firefox and we are going to go to the FOG website and download FOG. FOG project. On the left hand side, go to download, and then you are going to hit looking for the latest version, download Falk. In a few seconds, your download should pop up. You will save the file onto your local drive. As you're downloading Fog, you'll want to go to Applications and Ubuntu Software Center. You want to go to Installed Software and remove any extra programs that you don't need to run a, so run a Fog server. Any games or Bluetooth that you don't want to use, you can hit remove and it will remove it from your Ubuntu laptop. After you finish uninstalling all the programs you don't want, you can exit out of that and you can restart your system. I already have, so I'm going to go to downloads and you'll click on fog.32 bin and click on the fog script and click run terminal. It will give you a list of choices to help you install fog. The first choice will be a 2. N. The next one will be the IP address 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. You want to hit no, 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 and yes for the DHCP service, no for the international language, and yes to continue. After the packages are done installing, it will ask you to hit enter to acknowledge the message. Hit enter. The next thing that will pop up is going to be a configuration for your root user. You'll just want to hit enter without entering a new password. 
it'll keep your same password as you had the first time. For this box, you want to hit enter without entering anything also. You want to keep the password for uh, your root user the same. Hit enter on this one too. And that's the last pop-up you'll see. You'll just want to wait until the end and it will close itself automatically. After your installation is finished, you can exit out of this window. You want to go to Places and Computer. Click on File System, VAR. Want to go to www, Bob, Commons, and click on config.php. Scroll down and look for TFTP FTP password. And you're going to select everything within the quotation marks and type in your user account password, which is F0G. Next, you want to go down to Storage, FTP, Password, and do the same thing within the password, and type F0G. Everything else looks good. You can click Save, and then exit that. What you want to do next is you want to connect yourself to a local switch and disconnect yourself from the internet. Then go to configure VPN. You want to go to wired networks and you want to select that network that's already there and delete it. Next you want to click add and then go over to IPv4 settings. Select automatic and it'll come down with a drop down box and click manual. Then on addresses, click add and you'll type in 192.168.1.1. Next, you'll go to netmask, go to 255.255.255.0. And next, on gateway, you want to go to 192.168. Dot one, dot one. Then you want to hit apply. When you turn your power source on for your network switch and you have connected, it will say last used now. Okay, now we can go to online. And you want to replace address bar with 192.168. Dot one dot one forward slash fog forward slash management. Here you will click install upgrade now. Click the click here to log in. Here you will type in F O G and the password is password P A S S W O R D enter. And now you are on the FOG server. When you log into FOG, you can go to other information, which is the question mark on the far right side. And then on the left hand side, you want to go to FOG settings. You'll want to scroll down to almost the very bottom. It will say TFTP server and you should double check and make sure that your password for that is F0G.
and then this, it saves automatically. You'll also want to go to Storage Management, All Storage Nodes, Default Member, scroll down, and you will want to change the management password to F0G, and click Update. 